<laughs> we were so happy about Newt. Yeah, Please show you, some cover. Yeah. I mean, on the other hand, there's a bayonet as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Who wants those, right? Yeah, I nah, get you. I'm, I get I'm, you. I'm extremely excited to see this game. Uh, I really want to see how both of these punish game characters interact, right? Because both of these characters really abuse the punish game primarily. And that means that neutral is going to be extremely um, bait heavy because they both don't have extremely strong neutrals. But as soon as that first hit lands, they're going to be both be in a world of hurt. And he actually focuses that Jesus through that up tilt Christ. because the second, oh. the second hit of the up tilt is too far in the air to break through the focus attack. And something that I told Kepler yesterday was your Bayonetta could use some more grounded up beast because that's an extremely strong option, especially versus Ryu. Mm, and and that was a baited up B for sure. This game is exactly what I was talking about. Kepler taking that first stop. Definitely. And I love the fact that he went for all the uppers and then switched to the OB because he basically with those uppers, he, he told Mute like, yeah, you could actually focus attack there to make it back on exactly. stage. Exactly. And when Mute was exactly where he wanted to, him to, he went for the OB who that beat uh, One, the focus attack yeah. and got the kill from that. But oh, that's Shoryuken. Oh, the dash up Shoryuken beating that walling down tilt clean. On top of that, we saw um, we saw mute focus attack on a platform, and Kepler actually once again used that single hit up tilt mm. rather than using a B to try to break the focus. So Kepler, I really want to see him switch to a more a B oriented juggle because right there he had the backer as well. Oh, that was not that was, optimal. That was not optimal. Nope, nope, nope. So one of the most important things about that witch twist too yeah. is that. As soon as it hits, you want to identify which way Bayonetta is facing. Sure, yeah. And then SDI out. Because if you SDI in or up, you will get comboed into upper for free. Okay. However, there is a caveat. And that is, if she still has her side B, it's actually a 50-50. Because if you SDI out, she can side B and then catch you with an up air afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what you want to do is as soon as you get caught in the combo, you want to force her to use both side Bs before she even starts mm. using up B. Because in that case, she doesn't have a mix up. You can SDI out and you're always safe from the final up air. I'm not sure I caught all that. What I usually do is put the controller down. But let's see if Mute <laughs> actually finds a way to escape these combos, actually adjust to, uh, to Kepler's awesome punish game and find his way to the third game without having yep. too much of a deficit. We got a color switch coming in right here. Hopefully with it comes a mindset reset for Mute here because that last game was pretty devastating. He had an awesome start, but in the end, he just couldn't finish as strong as he started. And Kepler getting all the ladder combos on Mute. And that's another ladder combo, but no forward air connecting. Mute making it back on stage with 90% deficit already. Oh, oh. Look at that recovery. Kepler is gonna make it. Yeah, it obviously. Bayonetta. He's making it twice if needed. Look at that offstage Nair, not gonna hold it. Instead, goes for a little bit of an adjustment of his spacing using that side B. Jump over back air by Kepler. Look at that mm. on the jump as well. And Mute already on life support this early into the game. Great DI on the up B though. Not gonna get caught by the Nair. That would have definitely been his end. And Kepler, he's still going. Up air once again on the juggle instead of up B. Uh, Kepler, I really, well, as I've mentioned, I want to see him adjust. Mm, but bad DI on that side B after Konaki connecting into the upper then and taking Mute's first stock. All right, but that's going to be a first stock as well. What hit wow. was that? Was it a back air? That was, that was definitely a back air, and that's just going to come in clutch for Mute, evening up the stock count here on Smashville. Mute showing his punish game is definitely no slouch either. Mm. Covering the landing, Kepler's landing with that dash attack, actually connecting. Every time Ryu connects a hit, it hits so hard, it actually hurts me in real life. Yeah, the sound effect is extremely satisfying as I well. I love it. Nice bat within on the focus on the neutral once air. again. Bat within, gonna get, keeps Kepler safe from those Ryu confirms. And Mute DIing out of the forward air, not gonna get caught in that combo there. Gets the back air and Mute got a nice lead here. The Shuryuken definitely a possibility at this stage of the game. Oh, oh there is attack! There not it is not, but the Becker definitely gonna do a lot of damage. And Mute still looking in control here. Ooh, Ooh that was scary. Hit. That was scary, but very nice recognition. No oh, that's gonna be it, that though! That is definitely gonna be it. Once again, no RB coming out from Kepler. And I, I'm just, i just a little bit perplexed, yeah. uh, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you think about focus attack, the way to beat is a multi-hit. Yeah. And when you think about Bayonetta and multi-hits, you think about Bullet. the witch twist. Exactly. <laughs> is that the sound effect it yeah, makes? Definitely. I would love to have that one in the game. I'll just every time every time she takes you out, like 
<laughs> it's like an arcade machine. It's just something like that. Yeah. And then at the end, like when you die, it g- gets like a, the, 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 the cash out yeah, sound. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I would love to. I would watch. love that, yeah. <laughs> All right, but Kepler, is he? Uh, will he be able to adapt to the focus attacks? Because uh, Mute is having all the good timings to actually connect with their strong focus attack and just finding the, the, the hits as well to, to focus, I mean, to tank, exactly. to connect it. Yep. And Kepler already playing a little bit slower using that I'll be out of shield. Very well done. Mute trying to sure you can out of that combo. <laughs> no cigar, but that is going to show a lot of... Um, a lot of confidence by Mute, and that's extremely important with the Veil combos. One of those things that Ryu really needs to do is he needs to show that he's not afraid whatsoever. Nice DI, avoiding that. Oh, up, finally, up air, finally, just like, yeah, yeah, like yep. I mentioned. And if he does show that he's willing to throw at those Shoryukens during those Bayo combos, that means that Kepler's gonna be that much more scared to finish his Bayo combo because he knows that if he messes up once, he's gonna get Shoryuken and he might die like 20. Hmm. Yeah, and, and we Kepler is in a scary spot now. You you, you pick oh, oh, that's definitely gonna be it. Nice yeah. confirmed by Kepler, keeping track of those moving platforms, popping the balloon for style points, and Kepler definitely back on track to win this set. Mute, <laughs> walk up, sure you can not gonna connect to this scenario, mute. and a full confirm for Kepler using those forward air ones. Oh, oh my goodness, Jesus, so close. We saw the lightning, but no kill just yet. Mute surviving by the skin of his teeth. So what was really impressive from Kepler there was he reacted to the SDI and he kept using the forward air one to reset his combo and he kept reacting to the to the uh, to the DI on that one as well, not using his final up your side beat to finish the combo. Mm. And oh, okay, wow, mute nice just going bait. for it and and the taunts with it as well. Just mute feeling himself. He's feeling confident even though he's getting hit by oh, all these combos. Single hit ah, up, yep, single yep, yep, yep. hit up, be into the air dodge. That's definitely gonna be a rough scenario, especially for a character like me. Nah, Ryu. that's such a hard and one. Yeah. I mean. If you if you were to ask me, that was definitely the scenario to pull out the Shoryuken. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. I mean that's yeah. still a little bit high. I'm feet. actually surprised he didn't. Now that you say that, that yeah. would be uh, yeah. that would be the, mu- the most mute thing you could ever find. <laughs> but it's, uh, to be fair, it's the most Ryu thing you can find. <laughs> okay, okay, might um, be, might be. But yeah, Kepu, uh, Kepler, sorry, definitely looking strong here. Definitely oh, definitely, strong. definitely, just adapting a lot of stuff. And I feel like uh, on basically every other level except on Punish game. Uh, 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 except Kepler's punish game, it's going Mute's favor. But yeah, uh, Kepler is hitting everything. Like and I that's mentioned, basically like on paper, Bayonetta should destroy this. Um, she Ryu doesn't really have much of an approach. Uh, his fireballs are entirely ineffective due to crouch. On the other hand, Bayonetta can use her bullet camping to rack up a little bit of percents and force him to to basically approach, right? To interact yeah. with her. And as soon as Ryu tries to interact with Bayonetta, that's when Bayonetta can really get a lead going. And look at those up to pressure, not gonna be much. Using the grab, that's very rare. Usually, Ryu just will go for that shield break. And Kepler, he's not out of the woods yet. Gets that grab on the power shield, very nice. Use the up B instead of using the up tilt. How did he escape all that? How did he escape all that with two rolls and focus attack? Oh, up B. No connection on the side B. Very well done. He mute. Oh, oh, oh okay. But he, he got pushed off. Mute pushed him off with his body. Very and fortunate. The time and the miss on it as well. And the miss from mute as well. Not recognizing okay. the situation. Actually, uh, facing the wrong direction. But that could have been a kill. This is very been huge. Yeah. Th- this could have been a pivotal moment in the set. All right, Mutes, what do you have left to show Ooh, us? Oh, forward air one, bad DI on that, and immediate recognition by Kepler going for that oh so confident forward smash. Gonna end out the first stock with only 55%. And I say only 55, but in reality, he's more than halfway dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. More than halfway dead, and Mutes knows it. He's now fishing for those options. Oh, options. look at that confirm. Very nice by Kepler. Using that up, he no options mm. for Ryu. Nice SDI, gonna cross Bayonetta up and avoid much of the follow-up game that Kepler does provide. Can, can Ryu actually afford to go off stage versus Bayonetta, or is Mute playing with fire uh, there? Mute is definitely playing with fire. I, I thought so as well. Especially when... Dude, just up BM! Just, <laughs> just up BM! <laughs> press up B, Kepler! <laughs> <laughs> no, but on the real though, if he does use that Tatsumaki and he's sometimes forced to use it, uh, Kepler can pretty much just back air it, he can pretty much up B it, he can witch time it, and in all scenarios he is definitely gonna get a kill or even more pressure as probably a situation reset out of it. Yeah. I get you, but I like I like what Mute is trying now, he's just pressuring him and fishing for Safe-ish stuff, safe like ish. safe-ish, yeah. as in he knows in the interaction Kepler is most likely not ready for to, to punish those. Exactly. 
But still, uh, these these are a lot Ooh, of fun. Ooh, disrespect oh. Hadouken. Hit him up with that. No oh, punish and again. because such whiffs. Bale, Bale leaned forward on the mm, fourth smash, yeah. which is what made the up tilt whiff. Okay, and now and we wow. get the Shoryuken. And now we get that kill and the taunt. Again. Last Jesus. time he did get taunt to body, so let's see how it works out this time around. Ryu definitely not out of this game yet. Um, there's only like 60% needed for him to get that kill confirm on deck. Alright, and oh, <laughs> Ryu's actually going for the Tomahawk grab into nothing. I'm not sure that was the optimal choice, but that definitely showed confidence. Oh, a B and what was that knockback? I have no idea. I've never seen I have that no before. Idea. All right, Kepler finding Witch Twist, but putting Mutes on stage. Yeah, not the really Witch Twist is not going to lead into much at these percents when Ryu is DIing correctly. All right, Mute actually has to find a way back in the game. And oh, that and there it is. That's uh, confirmed. No, 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 yep, yep, yep. All weekend, the side B one incorrect the eye into the second side B and he hits with the very tipper of that side B which means a follow-up is pretty much guaranteed yeah the follow-up being there of that one yep and uh, definitely mutes. a DI mix-up because usually he goes for the up air 